The game itself between Manchester United and, and Chelsea, given that the changes that they've had over the summer, is, is going to be a, a difficult one to call early on, but we'll learn a lot from it, I would imagine. Absolutely. And what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done is obviously booking two defenders, Wan Bissaka and Harry Maguire. And listen, it's a, an awful lot of money. Make no mistake, £80 million pounds for a defender is the astronomic numbers. But what they need to do is something, because it seems like it's fundamentally something wrong with that dressing room. Maybe too many players that don't feel that passion to play for Man United. And by signing someone like him, he's a, he's a warrior. He wants to win. He knows the game. He's very good technically, good defender. And you can then, in the dressing room, start to change that whole process that's been going on over the last few years. It's too much money, in my opinion, but what you're getting is a really, really good defender. And he will just change, hopefully, that, the dynamic in the dressing room as well. It's funny because we were in, uh, also in the Nations League, uh, Holland and England, and I was working for the Dutch television. And I remember we were saying, Harry McRae. He was by far the worst player on the pitch. And then two months later, eight, 90, 90. Unbelievable. You love being honest, the Dutch, don't you? Why don't you be a bit more honest there? <laughs> you said good technique. Oh, he can play. Yeah? Yep, I promise. He's a good, very good on the ball. Good yeah. coming out with the ball. Listen, I, I agree. I in, in, the, in the Nations Cup, he didn't do so well. But now on the ball, he's very good. And you know what? He's got for a big guy, he's quick. And he, at Leicester, he's done a great job. There's a lot of pressure on him. Don't get me wrong. For that, for th that transfer fee is going to weigh heavy on his shoulders, but I think technically, yeah, he can play. Don't worry about that. With me, it reminds me of Manchester United trying to take it back to the old days again, of the likes of having solid centre-backs like the likes of Gary Pallister, you know, Yap Stams, Rios. When they had those real solid centre-back partnerships, I think he's the start, but it's still a long building process that they have to go. And the transfer fee is the transfer fee. <laughs> you can't do nothing about that. It's modern-day football. As far as Chelsea are concerned, Frank Lampard unable to register any, any players to, to Chelsea over these, these transfer windows. So it, is, the, is the onus then very much on this new manager, on this new setup at Chelsea? Absolutely, it's difficult. You lost your best player, you know, you can't sign any players, and Eden Hazard's gone. Um, you've had a difficult situation when one of the most influential players, one of the biggest probably characters in that dressing room, David Luiz, wants to leave as well. And I thought. I have to be honest, I thought Frank handled the situation really well. You've got a player that doesn't want to be there, and the best thing to do is get him out of the, get him out of the club. Because if he doesn't want to be there, it can be poisonous in the dressing room, especially with certain young players in there. So I think they've done well, got rid of him quickly. Rudiger, I'm not sure quite going to be fit for tomorrow, but he's going to be one that's going to be so important. Kante as well, if he doesn't play tomorrow, they're going to miss his energy. But I think for Frank, it's... Um, if they can finish in the top four with everything that's happened, I think it'd be an amazing season for him. It's not going to be easy. It's his first season at Chelsea, but I can see that Frank already looks very comfortable in his position.